Hey guys, it's Natasha. Today I am doing a Pilates class in socks. We're gonna do a lot of sliding exercises to really activate the core muscles and just total body activation so you don't go sliding off. Be safe, listen to your body. Have a mat nearby um, so when we need the cushions under our limbs, we can put them under. But um, for the most part, we're gonna do a lot of sock sliding. It'll be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Wrap the rib cage towards each other, and then just let the shoulders fall back away from the ears. You can shake out those hands a little bit, like you're twisting something, twisting a jar. Good, blink the fingers. We always go up on, on the hands for plank moves, and we'll do some sliding on the arms as well. So you can either take your socks off and put them on your hands, or grab the little rag towels will work. Little shakes, blinks, waking up through the forearms, and a couple shrugs here. Pick up the shoulders, roll them back and down. Three, two, and one. The Pilates breath is a forced exhale through the mouth. As you push out, you engage the belly towards the spine, activating those internal deep core muscles. Practice that breath a few times. It's a forced exhalation. The inhale will happen naturally. Exhale is forced and we engage and tense up through the, the mid, midline. Let's inhale the arms up and take a side bend stretch. Grab one wrist and just give it a gentle tug, trying to keep the shoulders stacked. Gaze upward, firm the quads, firm the belly, side bend, and up through center. Other way, gentle tug, no force. Trying to stack one shoulder over the other. Gaze up, firm belly, firm legs. Avoid sliding when we're not trying to. Good, inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, halfway forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw the belly in, reach the crown of the head forward, send the tailbone back, bring in some flexibility into the hamstrings. And then just bend and straighten a few times here. Bend, if you can't straighten all the way, that's fine. Inhale, exhale, push the palms upward, engaging the triceps. Keep the core engaged. Maybe you bring the belly to the quad and then grow to that flat back half fold. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale one more. Inhale and exhale. Bring the arms over the head and then swim them back. Pump the arms. Again, you can have bent knees. Four, three, two, one. Over the head. Exhale back. Pump it up. Four, three, two, one. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Pump four, three, two, and one. Hands on the hips, right in the hip crease, and we'll start our drag. So we're gonna move laterally to start. Out and in. Drag side to side. Good. Out, pull it in. Side and center. Challenge that edge, waking up the adductors and the abductors, outer and inner thigh. Flat back. Again, trying to get a little deeper with each one. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna drag behind the body. So we'll start with a straight leg drag. Pull it in. Out, drag it in. Out, arms rise, good. Out, squeeze it in. Pull the belly towards the spine. Four, challenge that depth of the leg as far as you can reach back. Good. And this time we're going to go even further, 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 and then pull it in. So we're trying to really elongate through the, the hip flexor and the quad, and maybe find a 90 degree lunge, and then drag it in. So back leg straight, stay straight, drag, bringing flexibility into the lower body, and of course strength. You need the core to pull yourself back up. Out, drag it in, press away. You can do this without slippery socks, but it is fun to try. Out, drag it in, and out. Let's do two more like that. Stretch it back, challenge your edge, pull it in. Stretch it back, heart rate's gonna climb a little bit, pull it in. This time, fingertips hit the floor and we'll drag back in a low lunge shape, out. And so this will maybe look a little different depending on your flexibility. Just see where you can get to today in this moment as we stretch and warm up. Fingertips can be down. You could also grab a pair of blocks if you need a little more space to reach the ground. 
you can keep the bent, the knees bent. Let's do four more. Four, three, pull it in. Two, squeeze the belly towards the spine. And one, hold it here. Back to the lateral movement. This time nice and low, out, slide it in, out. We're gonna pick up the pace and try to just lift the weight off of the legs for a moment. You can be up here. You can be on the fingertips or even flat palms, pushing the shoulders down. Ha. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together, ragdoll up. Heart rate's high right now, right? All right, we're gonna go to squats, right to left, drag it out, drag it in. If you don't have the slippery surface, just regular stepping out squats. Four, three, two, little cardio at the beginning. And this time, both legs out, slide them in. Drag them out, sit in your chair, drag them in. Push your butt back, squeeze your inner thighs, adduction. Out, in, out, in, four more, four, three, feet are maybe going 45 degrees to the corners, still more of a squat though than a plie just yet, and one, all right, shake out the legs, heart rate's high, right, all right, we're going to go to one side, pick a side to stand on, and then start to drag, pull it all the way back in. All the way over, all the way in, harder than it looks. Push out, squeeze in. Your arms can go forward and then up over the head. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Stay here, hands to the ground. All right, we're gonna add a little rotation. Hands forward, twist to lunge, Come back to side lunge, drag back in, all right? Side lunge, regular lunge, side lunge, feel that leg, a lot of work on the quad. Side, turn, side, drag it in, pull the belly in. Side lunge, regular lunge, side adduction, squeeze the legs together. All right, now straight legs. Out, you'll use your, a little momentum from the upper body. Straight slide, inner thigh core, you'll feel that. Outer thigh, inner thigh. Arms can be wherever you like. Knees can be soft, but they're mostly straight on this one. Slide it out, soft knees. Drag it in one more time. Slide it out, soft knees. Drag it in. Hands down, give it a shake. Circle the neck around, loosen up the body. Come over to the other side, getting your space for a lateral movement, side lunges. Arms out, the knee bends in the direction you're going to. Lateral lunge, stand tall. Point the arm, the fingers forward, squeeze up. Bend the knee, drag it in. Four, three, hang tight. Two, squeeze that belly in. And one, next one will stay. Hold it here. Your hands can reach down. Turn regular lunge, come back, drag it in. Side lunge, turn regular, side. Oh, a lot of work on those legs. Side, turn, side, adduction, inner thigh. Two more, lunge, turn, lunge, drag it in. Lunge, turn, lunge, drag it in. Give it a little shake. Straight legs, slide out, drag in. You can challenge your edge, but we don't want to get uh, stuck down there in the middle splits, especially if we don't have middle splits. So the knees can bend, slide out, squeeze to lift, a lot of core. Out, one more time. Push away, slide it in. Push off that foot a little bit to get a little lighter. Shake out those legs. All right, come into uh, feet together position. Elevate the heels. So now we're really on the tiptoes. 
slide the foot forward, little squat, forward, three, forward, two, out, one. Harder than it looks. Left, four, three, like a single leg squat, arms can come out or stay on the hips, out, and keep releve. Circles, sweep it around, sweep it around. Circle, still on releve if you can, or the other way. Four, three, two, and circle one. All right, moving into a little bit of sumo or plie work. And be mindful, again, we don't wanna lose our footing and slide out of our position into a middle split. So let's just come down low and then squeeze together. Wide, narrow. Four, three, straight spine on this one so it's not like the other one where we did a squat. This one is a plie. Hold it down. Push those uh, hands into the inner thigh and then just allow inner thighs, groin, and a nice shoulder twisting stretch and twist and twist. All right, gonna add a little side plank move. So again with the lateral movement, come over to one side, turn your body, drag the foot out to side plank, back where you came from, side plank, drag it in, all right? We'll stay the same way for a few. Lunge, side lunge. Turn, hand down, drag the foot back. Come forward, step on the foot, lunge, drag it in. Side lunge. Regular lunge, hand down, press the earth away, shoulders strong, side plank. That front leg can drag a few times if you have a nice strong side plank, and then come back. Come through your side lunge, drag it to the top. Last one, side lunge, lunge, side plank. Now hips, three, two, one. Hand down, thread the foot through. Zip it in, out, in, think fall in triangle, three, Two, strong shoulders and protraction, one. Step the foot forward, drag it back up. All right, we have to do that on the other side. Give your arms a little shake. Take a couple deep breaths. You can always take water or a break if you need it. All right, going the other direction. Side lunge, turn to regular lunge. Press the right hand, the, the back hand down so you can slip into side plank. Come back. Come forward, drag it in, all right? Same combo. Side lunge through regular lunge. Hand comes down, we slip back seamlessly to side plank. Step on it, side lunge, big drag. Side lunge, hand down, side plank. Front leg zips, four, three, two, one. Come back where you came from and drag back up to the top. This one, adding that ball and triangle move, her thread, down, side, dip. Four, three, two, strong core, strong body, one, hands down, thread through, four, zip, three, two, one. Come back, step on it, turn forward, Big drag in, all right. Shake it out, give me a forward fold. Grab your opposite elbow, bounce, sway. Find some ease. Circle the wrist, maybe take the top of the hands down, palms up, a little counter stretch, because we, be we will start to work more on the hands. So again, prepping the wrist, grab some water if you need it. I'm gonna take a little break. This is some pretty, big cardio movements going on too. Okay, so let's start some plank walks. Deep breath in, ragdoll. All the way down, strong upper body and core so that we can maintain the legs. Now, 
right knee and left knee, mountain climber. Eight, seven, spread your fingers, grip your fingertips into the earth. Here's four, push the shoulders down, separating the shoulder blades, and one, drag back. Take your walk, hang, red doll up. We'll just do one more like that with mountain climbers, and then we'll add a little inchworm move. Walk it out. Strong, engaged shoulders, then core, then quads. Fingertips grip down, mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twist, twist, twisty mountain climbers. Four, three, feel the obliques, two, and one. Walk back. Get off the hands, circle the wrists, let the head fall heavy. Let gravity take over, maybe even palms to the base of the neck, creating space for the spine and neck, and ragdoll yourself up. All right, little neck circle, release, heart rate's high. This time we'll take an inchworm move, tuck the chin, ragdoll down, walk yourself out, drag your feet in, stand, hands down, push back, Walk back. Nice work. We're going to do two more just like that. Red doll. Plank walk. Engage the shoulders, the core, the quads. Drag in. Stand up. You can round or come up with a flat back. Bring the hands down. Push the feet back. Walk the hands back. Red doll yourself up. Stack the vertebrae. Round down. Walk it forward, index finger forward. Slight outward rotation of the hands. Pull the feet in, maybe with straight legs, pike. And then come up to standing. Come back down. Push into the earth, shoulders press downward. And we lift the hips, make those feet light enough to drag back. Walk back. Ragdoll yourself up. Take a lunge forward, right, drag back, left, drag back. If you're not dragging today, just do regular lunges. We have two more here, and then we're going back to a little inchworm type burpee. This time, step forward. All right, hands to the ground, slide those feet back, slide the legs in, come up to standing, flat back to rise. Hands down, you can bend the knees if you need to, or try to press straight legs, and then pull in, come up to standing. To make this even harder, you can try to pull your body away from your hands. Hands down, push back. So what I mean is long plank, and it's hard to drag yourself forward, and come up to standing, getting tough, right? Hands down, do what you can, no force, out, 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 pull in, 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 and flat back to rise. Shrug the shoulders, swing them out a little bit, circle, palms forward, palms back, sweet shoulder legs together. How are you doing? Take a couple breaths. All right, my shoulders been bothering me a little bit, so I'm trying to go easy. All right. Let's start at the top again. This time we'll take some lunges going backwards. Again, down, this time the knee will drag. A little different than we did in the beginning with straight legs, but we're gonna try both sets. And if you're feeling a little more open, you could try to go back into like a half split. So let's do four more here. Arms maybe rise up. Four, three, back knee taps the floor, two, and one. All right, if you're feeling pretty flexible, we're gonna try to bring the hands down and work back towards a split. Dragging back, dragging in. You don't need to have a split to do this. Be mindful, be safe, use your core. Out, in, maybe, out, in. Split, drag, split, Pull, a lot of hamstring, a lot of core. Be mindful, no pulling muscles, please. Be really safe in your body and strong so you're not gonna just fall out of it. And if you do, bring the knee down so you don't 
So you're, you don't stretch the muscles too far out of your range of flexibility. So you might stay here for a moment, a little half split stretch, and then drag it up to the top. Other leg, pull it in, out, pull it in, four, three, two, stay here. Hands down, start to split and drag, split. So we can just work in this range for a few where you're trying to straighten out through the front knee. Squeeze the belly, come onto fingertips for more space or blocks for even more if you're really tight. If you have really tight hip flexors, quads, and hamstrings. And then again with the split, two, forward fold. Split drag, forward fold. Remember, you're using the upper body a lot too. And of course the core. Out, out, out. Drag it in one more time. Out, out, out. Drag it in. This time we'll come down. Knee down. Half split stretch. Nice deep breaths. Great work. Flex point. Okay, we're coming back through a plank. If you would like to get something under your knees at this point, um, I'm not going to go there quite yet. When we get to the upper body stuff on the knees, you can put a mat down. But really quick, let's work those mountain climber slides. One more time, but we're gonna twist, we're gonna turn them into tucks. So tuck the knees in, push the knees away. Tuck the knees, can your thighs hit your belly? Four, three, two, one, twist. Four, push away, three, push away, two, press back, one. Press back, knees, child's pose. Circle the wrists. Again, if you want to put a little padding under your knees, you can grab your mat at this point. We're going to try to do that with pikes. It is going to get hard. Feel free to do another set in tucks if it's just too much. All right? Calming breaths. This is a lot of cardio today. A lot of hard work. All right. Maybe move your mat out of the way for this. So trying to come up through pike or tuck, we're going to drag in and back. Doesn't have to be too high, it could just be to like a little short down dog. Up, back, up, back. Turn your hips slightly and try to reach up on an angle, 45 degrees. Three, two, one. Let's take a rest before the other side. Square, knees down, circle the wrists. Not gonna lie, this is hard. Again, you can always bend the knees and that will make it a lot easier. Let's go the other side, turning your hips at a 45 degree and then lift the hips, lower, lift, lower, drag, one more, drag, push away, neutral and stretch. All right, again, circle the wrists. Here is where you might want to pad up the knees and you can take your socks, put them on your hands. They might be sweaty, so you can grab little dish towels or if you have any kind of glider or sliding object, let's go for that. So we're going to work the core pretty deep. Again, be mindful of how far you go out and why you get stuck there. So we'll start pretty small. Tabletop, drag a few inches, tuck the tailbone. Drag back, maybe four inches to start. Out, out, out. Back, back, back. Out. Exhale. Lean forward. Drag back. Let's make this range a little bit deeper. We'll come to kneeling. We'll push forward. We'll bring the hips back to assist the arms, okay? So that'll make it a little easier and we're on the knees, so we are modifying the move. Out. Hips can lead you, core, shoulders drag you back. Back into the kneeling position, out, and in. Now challenge yourself to work a little harder, a little stronger. See if you can challenge that edge without losing it. If you feel like you can't come back in, lower to the forearms, okay? And then walk yourself back. 
be safe. I don't want anyone getting stuck or injured. All right, so you listen to your body. Pull away. If you get stuck, lower to the forearms, otherwise drag back. Nice cushion on the knees is, is good at this point because we're really gonna press down and pull back. So it's pushing and pulling. Out, out, out. Last one, hold. Back, back, back. All right. Let's work some push-ups. Coming into a modified uh, plank. Your left elbow is gonna hug in as your right arm presses away and then both straighten. Right elbow in, left arm forward, face towards mat or floor, right? Four, three, two. Anyone feeling really, really strong? You could do this off the knees, of course. I won't show that one. <laughs> Again, my shoulder's been a little bit, uh, I don't know, a small injury. Um, all right, so we're going to do the same thing but moving lateral. Give yourself space. One elbow in, one arm out, drag in. Out, drag in. This elbow can be 45 degrees as you laterally move the sliding arm. Out, in, and you can play with how it feels in your body, whether you wanna keep that arm straight or you wanna just bend and extend. So play with what feels safe in your body, but essentially it's side to side push-ups for three, lateral, two, and one. How are those pecs? Circle the wrist, take the back of the hand down, give it a little bit of pressure to counter stretch the wrist. We're gonna go back to sliding, we'll do a little combination. So we'll take our arms out, back, and then right, left, right, left, combo, double, Pull back, single, just move at your pace, your level. One more time, out, squeeze back, deep core, out, in, out, and in. All right, we're gonna slide into a child's pose stretch or a um, puppy pose stretch. So allow the chest to sink and then drag in for a cat. Shake out the head, pull the belly up. Slip out for cat, uh, for puppy, and then slip in for cat. Puppy pose, be mindful. Again, we don't want to go too far. You need to have control of your limbs. If you need to, the elbows can come down to stop you. And then drag in for your cat. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Puppy. Exhale. Cat. One more time. Slide back, maybe deeper. Drag in, round the spine, and have a seat. Circle the shoulders, swing a little bit. Anything you need to do in between, that was a lot of work. Maybe a chest opener. All right. Okay. I'm gonna make some arm circles and then we'll finish up in this position. So from here, Circle, right, circle, circle, and then can we try both at the same time? Out and around, pretty tough. Let's try that again. One arm, other arm, on both be mindful. You can use the hips to pull you back for a little assist. Last one, circle, circle, double, Come back to plank, hold it here. Forward, forward, side, side, back, back. Two more, up, up, side, side, down, down. Last set, forward, forward, lateral, breathe, back. You can lift your, to your fingertips. And then knees down, stretch back. <laughs> Whew, you might need a towel to wipe that sweat, drink some water if you need to, circle out the wrists. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna come back to putting the 
socks or your gliders or whatever you have on the floor. This time you want the padding under your forearms and give your wrists a little break and come into some forearm work. So set yourself up, push the shoulders down, lift up. This time your drags are going to go out and in like a jumping jack. And if you don't have the slippery surface, you can just do jacks out, drag in, abductors, adductors, four, three, two, one, and little rest. Next one, we're going to do a frog, tuck and spin the legs in a circle, just like we did with the hands. We'll feel in the biceps. Deep breathing. All right. Four arms down. And we go frog, tuck, circle, circle around, three, spin it out to your range of motion, and one, pull away, lift up to dolphin, breathe, try not to let those feet slide away, and then we're going to mindfully push them back, slowly, 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 three, two, one, drag it up, rest. Push down through the shoulders, gaze towards the fingers, drag back, four, three, two, one, pull it in, step on it. Big breath, last time, gaze forward, lift onto the toes, drag back, four, three, two, one, and drop. Nice work. Breathe it out. Anything you need to do to stretch, maybe some water sounds good right now. Okay, well, let's take it into seated. I'm going to do some side body work as well, but right now, let's go ahead and come into a seated position. Your wrists can face fingertips forward or angled out for a little bit more mobility of the wrist. So this way is a little easier, a little more flexion to face the fingertips forward. Up to you. Find the place that feels comfortable and then lift off. We're going to just simply straighten hamstring drag. Easy. Four. Quad dog. Three. Think of compressing thighs towards belly. Two. And one, pretty simple now, lift side to side. So we're dragging our feet laterally. And you're gonna feel the obliques. Push down, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. No hands, push the fingertips forward. Drag, heel, toe, heel, toe, out, in, out, I want this to be work, so think of compression at the top and really engaging the quads and the hamstrings, not just going through motion, but activating muscles. Here's four, drag, three, up, pull, feel the quads, hip flexors, core, hamstrings, quads, and let's sit up and forward fold. Ooh, feeling that? Release it. Big breath in, big sigh out. So when we move into some reverse plank and table slides, uh, blocks will be really helpful and handy to give you a little more space. I'm gonna try to do it without, but if I need to grab some, I will. So from here, again, the wrist is up to you. A little turn out might feel a little more comfortable. Push the shoulders down and swing the hips up. Now those same leg drags out in. Out, in, four, three, two, one. Can we try both? Push, pull, push, pull. Grip them out with the fingertips. Out, drag in, push out, drag in. All right, we're gonna have a seat, flip the palm. Now, trying to swing the hips forward and back. Gonna get tough and you might get rid of your mat for this, so you have the surface to do it on. So slide into, we'll start in a reverse table. We're gonna drag our hips back, push the shoulders down, pull the belly towards the spine. 
forward, swing back. See if you fall out of it, it's no big deal. Trying to go easy on my shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Have a seat. Circle out. We're gonna do that one more time. And this time we're gonna try to swing to reverse plank. So that is more range of motion, activating the posterior chain as you lift into reverse plank and then core, shoulders, quads, on the way back, the front side of the body. All right, gather up your energy. Bring your fingertips forward by your knees. We're gonna push the earth away and slide the hips forward, back, forward, back, three, two, one, hold, and release really hard. It's much easier on blocks. <laughs> Release it here. Heart rate's high. Circle the shoulders a little bit. Let's do a little lateral work. So again, you're going to pad maybe under your hip and we'll come into side leg. Pick a side, set yourself up. Little pillow for the forearm is kind of nice. Um, but let's keep the spine and the neck really neutral and the hip stack. Top hand can come down. We're going to drag the foot forward, swim it back. Forward and back. Squeeze. Go to your depth, your range of motion. Make it a challenge. Maybe fingertips. If you want more of a challenge, no hands to assist. Four. Three. Drag. Two. Drag one, lift the leg, lower it down. Hand can assist or not, try to stack the hips, maintain stacked hips. Good, just leg lifts. And then we'll change it up a little bit with a little passe. Lift, slowly push through water, passe. Lift, slowly push through water for two. Go through the range of motion, activate the muscles. And then we'll add this little scissor, 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 scissor. All right, take it passe, lift, push through water. One more passe, lift, push down through water, slides forward, slide back, slide forward, slide back. One more set. Drag it through, slowly push away through water. Keep the hips stacked. Your range of motion, make it a challenge. Forward, back, forward, and back. Awesome. Come on up to the forearm. Lift the hips up. Sweep the leg forward and back. Four, hand can be wherever you want it to be. Up in the air behind the head, one more time, drag it back, pulse it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, slide this bottom knee under and come on up, okay, we're going to drag out and in, okay, give yourself a little space, so kneeling, abduction, abduction, slide, forward. Slip it out, out, in, forward. Arms can be out, out. Squeeze everything to the midline. Drag forward, out, up. Bent knee or straight leg. One more time. Out, up, drag, drag. Now, side, spin, side, lift. I hope I can remember all this. I keep adding on. Down, stack, and lift. Lateral, twist, lateral, and lift. Lateral, twist, chest towards mat, stack the shoulders, drag it up, and rest. All right, that was a lot. I hope I can remember it all. Sip of water. Set yourself up on the other side. All right, hip on something soft if you like. 
pillow for the forearm, uh, the forearm pillow for the head, stack hips, shoulders, everything stacked. We're gonna slide the leg forward and back, forward and back. If I forget anything, it was on purpose. <laughs> Just get good. Take it six, drag five, four, core strong, maybe an assist with the arm. Use your muscles, use your core to assist the movement, right? Then just legs up, slow lower. Lift, keep your hips stacked, keep your belly pulled in. Lift and lower. Now up, up, slowly press. You can point, flex, maybe point and then flex down, up to you. Use the legs. Slide the legs, two, forward and back, forward and back. Let's do this a few more times, going backwards and forwards and back one more time. Scissor, pressing down. Now, passe, leg lift, slow lower, in, up, and down, leg sweep. Sweep. Sweep, one more set. Take it in, up, push through water. Take it in, up, press through water. Legs. And we're gonna hold that leg back, back, squeeze, and come back through stack. Soften the knees, soften everything. Press on to your forearm. Take a, a little breather. Press the shoulder down, lift the hips, drag the leg. Forward and back here, your range of motion, make it a challenge. Hand can be wherever you want it to be, behind the head, up in the sky, on the hip. Four, three, two, and hold it back for eight pulses, going backwards, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold it. Assist the hand to drag the knee in and come on up high. Circle the neck around. All right, we're gonna move out, drag in, out and in. So it's okay for your hips to go back. Maybe your chest goes down towards the ground. Arms wherever you like, the knee can be soft. The dragging pull stems from the core. Four, three, two, make it a challenge. Full, drag it up, foot forward. You can bend the knee or keep it straight and extend it. Out, in, bend, and drag. Take it halfway full, drag it out. Adductor muscles pulling in, sweep forward. Sweep out, half fold, drag up, push. Again, maybe lean into it and then slide away. And you can work that move a few times here as well. Obliques, back to your fold. One, hands behind the head. Move lateral, spin down. Move to stack, drag it up top. Take it over, spin. Your heel might pop up, that's okay. So it might go side, spin to the toe, back to the heel, drag it up. Two more, over, spin, stack, and lift, over, spin, stack. Oh, those are good, and lift. Nice work, have a seat. Oh, how you doing? All right, let's come back to some seated work. So again, I want you to have your mat um, not on your feet, but you can make a nice padding for your upper body so that your legs can still start to drag out and in. All right, so sitting up tall, drag both knees in, push through water, toes down, stack, drag heels in, Lift up through high boat, your flexibility, your range of motion. Push through the heels, flat. Toes, boat, 
Good. Toes. Press it through. Stuff. Good. In. Boat. Tap the toes. Seven. Six. Maybe an assist here. Here's four, three, two, one. Like we did earlier, hands down, drag the legs from side to side. Maybe you try with no hands for eight, seven, six. Knees towards each other. Five, four, three, two. Your floor is clean yet. And one. Bring those feet out. Take a forward fold. Gonna go back into reverse plank one more time and this time we'll drag the legs like a reverse mountain climber. Swing those hips up, then one foot, other foot, keep working here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now open, close, open, close, open, close. You can do it with bent knees or maybe try it with straight legs. So in table, abduction, adduction, or with straight legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, thigh master, two, one. Oh, release. Remember, you can always take more breaks than I am. It is not a competition. This is a lot of really hard stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go into our backside, laying supine. So give yourself behind you, uh, room behind you. You'll still have space for the socks in front of the body. So take a moment to set yourself up and we'll do some bridge work coming up. For now, sit up tall, slide those heels forward, low boat, float the heels off. Bring the heels down, drag in. Slowly, heels are gonna float. We'll rock to the low back. Toes in, sit tall. One more time, heels. Rock, hold. Slowly lower down. Three, two, one. First time laying on our backs. Bring those feet in. And then take your pelvis into a slight tilt so the low back is grounding. And we have a nice neutral spine. Pull the belly towards the ribs. Big breath in and out. All right, so give yourself space for your feet. We're gonna roll up to bridge. Peel the pelvis forward, melt, lift off the vertebrae. You can grab onto the mat, the floor, your hips. We're gonna drag the legs out, in. Then single, single, double. Single, single, belly and ribs down, hips, up, hamstring glute work, single, single, double, one more time, drag, single, single, double, fight for it, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly melt down the vertebrae, hug the knees in, circle the ankles, Maybe find a little happy baby or even straight legs, finding ease through the hamstrings that just worked really hard, right? All right, little, again, mountain climber type move in your bridge. Press up to bridge, alternate, sliding out. Eight, seven, six, squeeze the booty up. Five, four, push away. Three, two, and one, nice work. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slow, lower, roll down. All right, we're gonna do a full sit up. Slide those feet out, arms over the head. Exhale, tuck the chin. Momentum, maybe drag in, push away. Exhale, drag it in. So you can use momentum from the arms for four, three, two, and one, hold it down. Upper body, tuck the chin, climb the rope, eight, seven, six, five, four, shoulder blades up, three, two, one, add a drag, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, pull up higher, two, and one. Release it down. Bring those feet under the knees. Take some nice deep breaths. Maybe a cactus shaped elbow and turn the neck from side to side. All right, flip the palms down, lift the knees up. Knees over, drag straight, drag bend, pull up through center, 90 degree angle, knee drops, stretch and slide towards the hands, depending on your hamstring flexibility, drag back. Take it over, swing, pull, lift, and up. Take it over, swing, slide, pull, two more sets. Nice and controlled, take it down, swing it out, swing it in, then core takes over to lift the weight. Take it over, stretch it out, pull it in, squeeze up to the top, nice and easy. All right, legs up, take a big breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna try to push the hands down, peel the hips up, maybe those feet can hit the floor, and then we move out and together. And if you have the mat down, if you need to move it out, just be mindful. You don't wanna move the neck around. Try and slide the feet out, in, I'm not on the floor, and slow lower. Slow, three, two, one. So if you need to set up yourself so you have space to slide behind you, you can put a little pillow under your head, Let's see, how can I move them out? All right, so slowly press the sacrum down, ground into the hands, peel the spine off. We're not gonna force this. If you can't reach the ground, just support and move abductor, adductor in the air, or here, four, three, two, one, slow, lower, three, two, one, peel into a little ball. Take a star crunch, legs long. So star, pike, straight legs, hollow body, split, and open, knees, feet together, feet apart. Last one, feet together, feet apart. Release the head, last time, lifting those feet off of the over the head, deep breath in, press into the hands, peel up, support the back, drag four, drag three. This should be comfortable on the neck and spine. If it's not, don't try and reach the ground. One, hands down, slow lower, three, two, one, feet down towards the floor. Let the knees knock in. Take some nice deep breaths, it's a lot of work. We're gonna do our crisscross, again with the feet dragging. Hands behind that, exhale, lift, drag. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. Flex and toe and point the feet. Let's spread the toes. A lot of resistance there, we worked a lot. So maybe even massage the feet. Since we were pressing into them the whole time, we're gonna to start to rock like a ball and balance at the top. So rolling like a ball, you need to reset your mind. Time, so let's finish up. Rock and roll for three, roll for two, roll for one. Hold your final V shape. Bring your feet down, come into Malasana. Big breath in, big side out. Jump back, come to the mat, and come onto the forearms. So if you have your towels handy, or you wanna quickly, again, change your maybe sweaty socks onto your hands, <laughs> and we'll just finish up here with some back work. So we'll use this as a stretch, but we'll also be working a bit with the back side of the body. So set yourself up here. And we're gonna push the, whatever prop you're using away, and then drag it up using your backside. Push it forward, exhale, 
back body lifts you up. Squeeze the glutes, roll the heels towards the sky. Four more, really mindful. Three, two, hold it up on one, hold it, swing your elbows out, and then pick your hands up. Four, three, two, one. Bend the elbows, push them forward. Bend elbows to ribs, push away. Two, squeeze the back side of the body, triceps. Hold, three, two, one. Swing your elbows out, arms back, legs up, four, three, two, one. Make a pillow and rest. Wash the feet from side to side, swing the hips. Nice deep breath, hug the heels in. Maybe grab for the outside top of the feet. Stay down here or just a nice easy kick up, nothing fancy. Don't worry about how deep you're going. Just find a stretch. Slow lower. Stack your palms, make a pillow. Flush the feet. Breathe into the back. Swivel the hips. Press yourself up to plank. The downward facing dog. Pedal. Again, stretching the arches of the feet, really articulating. Swivel. Hips side to side. Feel the side body lengthen. Walk your feet in. Let your head fall heavy and your breath slow down. Engage the quads, lift the tailbone up. Ragdoll up. Awesome job. Take a deep breath in. Ooh, side stretch. Four, three, two, one. Your little bow to release the spine. Three, two, cactus, and flush. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it went, how you did with the sock sliding. Um, give this a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.